Well, Sarah Largent, Youth of the Year, that's uh, quite an impressive title. What do you think about that? It's, it's exciting and overwhelming, but I'm glad to be in that position. Well, tell me about the first time that you stepped into the Ben Arnold unit here. What did you think of the building? What did you think of being a part of the Boys and Girls Club at that time? Well, when I first came into Ben Arnold, they were sitting in the circle, and Miss H was the unit director at that time, and it just felt so welcoming. When I came in, they had me interact into the game that they were playing and reading stories, and I just felt so welcome, like I've been going here for so long, and this was my family already. Like, this was a place I could come to. So it almost felt like home from the very yeah. beginning. It really did. How did that grow with the time that you spent here? Well, I mean, between different unit directors, Miss H was was like a mother. Miss Miss Katina, she was definitely like a mother. She was that person that I could come and talk to when I had problems at home or at school, or when I just needed to, to talk to someone. It, she was that person. How did this help you in interactions with other people your own age? It was because she, Miss Katina, I'm gonna I'm talk on her. Miss Katina, she she taught me to be kind. She taught me to to connect with people. She would do different program. We would have different programs to where we would have to interact with different people, not of our same race or our, or our same age, but different, just all around different people. And that helped me to learn that. Tell me uh, a little bit about what you would say to people who are thinking about supporting the Boys and Girls Clubs and, and they might not be sure if it's worth their effort, worth their time, worth their money. If you have children, even if you don't have children, Boys and Girls Club is it's a positive place for kids. That's our motto, positive place for kids. And I mean, it's just a good, genuine place where you can, you can bring your children or children just in general can come and have that place at the school if they don't have anything to do and they're out there doing whatever, they can come to the Boys and Girls Club and have that foundation. If they don't have it at home, this could be their home. What do you think it would be like if you hadn't been a part of the Boys and Girls Club here? What do you think you would be like? What do you think your life would be like? I don't think I would be the person that I am today. I think that I wouldn't be as much of as a leader as I am today because of the background where I lived wasn't a good place. And I don't think that if it wasn't for the Boys and Girls Club, I wouldn't be who I am and I wouldn't be on the journey that I'm going on at this point in time. Where are you headed? I'm headed to success. <laughs>